all right now this is little tricky this is not gonna be straightforward like how we have with select options so let's say if I type I and D in then there are three options are present and we should select India from it okay you can select any country it's up to your wish so first of all you have to get grab of this edit box and you have auto complete which is ID and with ID you know how simple it is to write CSS by just concatenating with the hash perfect so we got hold on this edit box now you just start typing I and D three characters how to type using type method okay it's as simple as this I and D nice so thereafter your application looks like this and three options are displayed now you have to pick India from it so when you try to spy the options are disappearing this is the common problem you face okay now so right click on this instead of spying just right click on the option and say inspect right so on inspect you found that if there are three options displayed then you have totally three li tags and class name is ui hyphen menu hyphen item we don't know india would be on the first option or second option or third option it will give multiple suggestions and we never know on which order your country name is displaying so basically logic here is to loop through all the options which it is suggesting us and you will compare where India is matching when India have matched then you will click on that option okay that is the concept we did this already in the green card website if you want to find cashiers we have looped through all the products available and when it matches cashews then we added to cart right similarly we have to iterate through all the options so for iterating through all the options we have a locator here we have tag name ui menu hyphen item but you see that if you open this html here is where the actual name is present so basically you have to write one generic locator so that it will identify all the options present on the screen okay so go to pro path and i'll try to generate one so firstly dot if i have class name and if you want if i want to write css i can just add dot name and hit and enter what happened yeah because the options are not displaying now so it could not find yeah anyways I don't think this work because when I start typing options are going away but by looking at this we can write three items are present but if I provide like this dot okay so these three items will select by default I could not see in the screen because the option went away that's the reason I am also not getting three matching elements found here but our intention is not to find these three there is a text on next div so we need these text if you open India is here and Indonesia is here so our goal is to reach these divs so if you simply give space I explained you clearly that if you want to travel from your parent to child you need to just give spaces okay instead of slash you can provide spaces to travel from your parent to child so I will give space because this is the parent and the child item is div so we found parent item with the CSS selector dot class and if I want to go to child I'll just give one space and say div the tag name of child okay so I can simply traverse like this and if I hit enter now right now it's not showing but it will highlight these three okay so my point here is to tell that this locator will help us to 
grab the all the options displayed on the screen okay so for the sake of uh, ind okay now but let me try if i can do it from cypress i don't think i have an option here as well but just to try come on the option is going so one good thing here you can see that with cypress there are three matching elements but they were in invisible mode okay that way you can figure it out okay nice india indonesia and british territory something we found three options right we were able to get it here but we were not able to see in crow path because crow path plugin is not having ability to show hidden elements but in cypress it will say how many matching elements are found but it will also complain that they are not in hidden mode all right now we got this um, locator so basically idea here is that when you select ind all the options will open right we don't know how many options are present we will grab all these with this locator and then we will iterate through each and every option what we grabbed and the each and every option is compared to india if it is matched then clicked so it's same like how we have done for our test1.js using each method so let me just take this method and come back to test3 so i'm just telling you the approach of handling dynamic drop downs so that tomorrow if you come across this you can exactly apply the same concept and it will work right so this time our locator is here so after you type sorry after you type india then we were asking to go through and each and every index written by this array and for that each and every index we were grabbing the text first even dot text and do remember that text is jquery object here so that we have to resolve promise when you do each method it will automatically resolve the promise if it is equals to india okay then what you want to do it here you just need to click that that's it nothing else so if it is matches then that element dot click that's it we were just clicking on that so um okay so when actually these three options are displayed right now when it is iterating second time it reaches here it grabs the text when it matches we will perform the click operation same thing we were doing here um, with this logic perfect let's run this program and see if it does or not sometimes it might take a few milliseconds to load the options if that is the case then you have to handle that with wait but let us see we have no clue because we have never automated this so let me save this project and then it should trigger the automation let's see how it goes so it should select checkboxes and then static option 2 it's trying to oh we have not changed it back to option 2 i have shown you the failed scenario right but i have not shown you how to uh, revert it back again all right so trigger this project you can either click on this link to rerun again so perfect you see that did you observe it we have given ind as our input thereafter options are displayed and we have selected india from it let's rerun this so that you can watch or why to rerun we have a debug option to time travel right 
there is a feature at time travel where you can go back and click on each link to see what happened now let us see here okay first of all it got control of that and thereafter if you want to hide highlight you can do this so that you can see what's happening see that i n d it's typing and then three options are displayed british indian ocean territory india indonesia and thereafter it selected india okay so that's a solid proof to show how the options went i am just rerunning for your convenience to see perfect it's so fast right cool and this is how you can handle any dynamic drop down the only thing what you need to remember here type some letters and options will display grab the common element of those all options so that all options will be as part of array when you have common locator and now you have to iterate through each and every element and then figure out which option you want to select using text method of jquery and once you figured it out just click on that and that's it so if you want to again compare if india is successfully selected or not how do you do that okay so let's see now inspect it and then you don't have any specific thing but you have value attribute right even if you don't see any attribute there come out of loop and then um should have value just use the same thing cy dot get auto complete all right should have value india nice so this will actually have an assertion to check if india is properly selected in that edit box or not okay you see that it passed so that's why make sure whenever you perform some operation you immediately put assertion to check whether the operation you performed is successful or not okay so if you have a test cause test case to see if you can select an option from your dynamic drop down and this is the step to select but validation should be there right at the end to compare if the selection is successful or not that can be done using assertions like this all right so that's pretty much about dynamic drop downs and we will switch to one more topic in next lecture thank you